I've pulled all the dash out of the XB. Because it's really hard to see at night. I'm going to change all the globes and see if that helps. And also give it a real good clean. Here's part of the instrument cluster that I've given a real good clean and it's come up really good, but uh, they've definitely shown some signs of wear. Let's see if I can get them to work like they would have when they were brand new, or maybe even better. Well, here's the cluster is pulled down a little bit further. And I have noticed, although it's really hard to tell in the video here, but this white here should be a very bright white and it's kind of gone yellow. I'll repaint it. I'm thinking about using some LEDs to illuminate the back of this. See how it all turns out. Well, I've pulled this down even more. As you can see, it's totally stripped down. I'm not entirely happy with the color of this in here and what's happened. When I've done these before and painted them a nice white, but for some reason, this is a little bit yellow. Really hard to show you on the camera. So what I'm gonna do is mask up these and I'm also gonna repaint these blinker or indicator lights. If I go LED, the LED is probably gonna be strong enough to go straight through when the lights are on here and straight into these indicators. So I'm gonna paint these indicators black. Hopefully no light will go through. I might even put some black right up on the top of here so it illuminates all of this without going straight through the head of the Speedo and the Taco. And there's some black paint on that indicator lens. I've masked up the top here. I'll wait for that to dry and peel it off onto the other side. So I've masked up these lights and I'm gonna put another coat of white paint over the top. Now, I don't know if you can tell on the camera here, but it's definitely brighter now. I'll let that tack off and I'll whack another coat on. So I've given this a second coat and I'll let it sit overnight. Now I'm moving on to this bit. See these little terminals here? Well, they fold around in here, here, and underneath these lights here. You can see I've already started to just clean them up, give them a hit with a little bit of emery. That's how they'll come up. It'll give the uh, electronic components a better contact when it's all put back together again. Now you can also see here, this terminal, here, 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 and even this one here, is lifting off the PCB. So I'll just use a tiny bit of super glue and just put them back down again. Now they're sitting down, I'll let them sit for a little while and uh, this thing will be right as rain again. Okay, so it's the next day and this is all painted up and I've gone and got some black dots and put them on here as well. What I've also done is added some extra wires in here for the tachometer. I noticed I had to do that on one of my other XAs I had. It, um, it does help in getting power to the tachometer. Now another little tricky thing to do to make sure the indicator light sits right is to get an o-ring and chop it up and lay it in there and that way when you put this piece in it'll sit firmly up against the back of the speedo and the tachometer now that this is all back together again it's time to put some globes in the back here and what i'm going to do is not use globes i'm going to use some leds they're t tanner leds from jcar they're going to be a much brighter light and the downfall of using leds in an xa or xb dash is that as you saw before inside these holes was a blue bulb cover now that's for your standard incandescent globes which illuminate a yellowish color making the hue inside the instrument panel green now by using the leds the hue is going to be blue some might have an issue with that and i suppose if you could track down some t10s that glowed uh, yellow you'd be okay but i couldn't and i'm not too fussed that it glows blue either i mean it's a ford 
you know, forward blue and all that. So I'm going to use these, and I'm going to use something a little bit different for the actual uh, indicator light, which are these ones here. Because they are green, and now that I've painted them all black, I'm going to use a directional light. So hopefully, now I haven't tried this, but hopefully it'll glow white light straight up into that green and uh, be nice and bright on the dashboard when the indicators are on. All right, for the moment, I'm going to put this together and I'll meet you back in the car. Okay, so I've got this all in the car now. And uh, what I'm going to have to do is connect up this wire and this one, which I'd put into the tack there. I've located the wires. I know it's this white one with a green stripe. And this black one here as well. So I'm just going to splice into that, put some connectors in, so if the next person ever needs to pull it apart again, they can. With all that wired in and connected, some electrical tape here, it's time to put it in. I did want to just show you a quick little neat trick. LEDs have to go in a particular way. They're not like incandescent bulbs, where it doesn't matter which way they go in. An LED has a positive side and a negative side. So what I like to do is figure out which one is which, Put a little white mark on all the negative sides. And when I put them on the PCB, work out what's the positive and the negative side of the PCB as well. That way, they can all go in in the right way and there's no mix up when you assemble the dash and you find a light doesn't work. Let's chuck it in. Look at this wiring. That's Ford factory. It looks like a bird's nest. Okay, let's check this thing out shut the door and I pull the car cover over so it's a little bit dark in here there we are turn these headlights on and there we are um, that's a hell of a lot brighter than it was I mean when I drove this home I couldn't even read the temperature gauge that's pretty cool let's just turn it on for a sec see if we've got blinkers or indicators And there we have it, all working just the way it should.